So Steph, why are we in your garage? I thought you said we were building stuff, right? No, I was talking about automating builds with Google Cloud Build, not that. Oh, Google Cloud Build. You mean the one that lets you orchestrate build steps that run as container images. Exactly. And this means that each build step can do anything a container can, such as executing a script or a binary. So let's look at how you can use Cloud Build today to automate a simple Terraform workflow in a way that you might see a small team run infrastructure as code. Now, as a developer, I may want to edit our team's Terraform code on a dev branch to create a new node pool to accommodate a more CPU-intensive workload than our Kubernetes engine cluster currently allows for. I can do this by updating our Terraform code with a new node pool resource. This node pool will be called Olympic pool. And we can commit those changes to a development branch. This way, we can actually use Cloud Build to create an approval workflow as opposed to me actually applying changes to our infrastructure from Terraform locally. We'll do this using Cloud Build's notion of build triggers. You'll see that my first build trigger is set to kick off a build off of any push to a non-master branch. Because I changed the Terraform configuration on the dev branch, our build has already been triggered. So when we actually dive into the build, you'll see that it's comprised of two distinct build steps, each running in a container with the Terraform binary. The first build step will initialize Terraform, and the second will show us what resources will be created with the updated code without actually creating those resources. In this case, it will be one new node pool. And we can actually see this in the logs from those build steps in the Cloud Build UI. So if we wanted to, we could run more build steps to, let's say, run test suites or actually apply this to a staging environment. Precisely. That's the idea. This is a very simple illustration. Build steps are actually customizable to the point where you should use them to represent the workflow that fits your culture. So the two use cases that you just mentioned, they're definitely patterns that you can adopt. So in this demo, how will these changes be realized in production? With another build trigger, of course. So once I've actually pushed those changes to the dev branch, we're actually going to create a pull request against the master branch. This is what will actually allow for our infrastructure to be realized in production. You'll see here that a new node pool resource is now going to be created, so we'll create that pull request. Typically, this introduces a level of approval where we can actually have someone with the proper permissions review these changes and give the approval to actually merge the pull request. So once we actually merge the pull request into the master branch, we will actually be invoking our second build trigger. This second build trigger is actually set up to uh, run on any change to the master branch, as defined here. And you'll see that we actually have a different Cloud Build YAML file for this build trigger. In this case, what we're doing here is we're actually adding a third build step using the same Terraform container image that we had previously. In this case, we'll now be able to apply those actual infrastructure changes with Terraform. So because we've actually merged dev into master, our build has been triggered to actually run with those three build steps. So you'll see here that we still have the Terraform container image running init, plan, and now we have the third step that says apply and auto approve. So what happens is because we actually were able to merge something into master, this build was then triggered to actually apply those changes as opposed to the previous build, which just ran a plan so that we could introspect what we wanted to create. So because that build is actually run, let's look in our GKE cluster, and we'll see here that the node pool called Olympic pool is actually being created. Google Cloud Build can easily make your workflow automated and help you easily enable continuous building, testing, and deployment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.